the mind released through wisdom here and now, knowing and realizing, one with the destruction of desires is a recluse. With the purified divine eye, surpassing that of men, a Buddha sees beings as they pass hence or come to be. Have compassion for all beings, rich and poor alike each has their suffering. Some suffer too much, others too little. Believe, meditate, see. Be harmless. Be blameless. Awake to the Dharma and from all sorrow free yourself. Go beyond this way or that way, to the farthest shore where the world dissolves and everything becomes clear. There is the taking on of a practice that is painful in the present but yields pleasure in the future. The thought does not occur to a monk that I am about to attain the cessation of perception and feeling. The Bodhisattva, having stood in the perfection of meditation, does not apprehend form or any of the other skandhas. The world always finds a way to praise and a way to blame. It always has and it always will. Love yourself and watch today, tomorrow, always. First, establish yourself in the way, then teach, and so defeat sorrow. In the end, only three things matter, how much you loved, how gently you lived, and how gracefully you let go of things not meant for you. You yourself as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. Don't blindly believe what others say. See for yourself what brings contentment, clarity and peace. That is the path for you to follow. It is a man's own mind, not his enemy or foe, that lures him to evil ways. If you have a person, you have something in him that is a part of yourself. What isn't part of ourselves doesn't disturb us. We can never obtain peace in the outer world until we make peace with ourselves. Our sorrows and wounds are healed only when we touch them with compassion. There are only two mistakes one can make along the road to truth not going all the way, and not starting. In a controversy the instant we feel anger, we have already ceased striving for the truth, and have begun striving for ourselves. Believe nothing, no matter where you read it, or who said it. No matter if I have said it unless it agrees with your own reason and your own common sense. To enjoy good health, to bring true happiness to one's family, to bring peace to all, one must first discipline and control one's own mind. If a man can control his mind he can find the way to enlightenment, and all wisdom and virtue will naturally come to him. To keep the body in good health is a duty. Otherwise we shall not be able to keep our minds strong and clear. The secret of health for both mind and body is not to mourn for the past, worry about the future, or anticipate troubles but to live in the present moment wisely and earnestly. Happiness is nothing more than good health and a bad memory. Happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your own actions. Happiness does not depend on what you have or who you are. It solely relies on what you think.
Don't rush anything. When the time is right, it'll happen. Be kind to all creatures this is the true religion. Those who are free of resentful thoughts surely find peace.